Welcome back to my workshop. Now, a very quick project today. I've been asked to make a trifold display board. What's that then? My grandson has asked me to make a display board for some of his homework. Now, this has got to be a board that folds out into its three pieces and it folds out and it stands up on its own. Now, I've never made one before, uh, so let's make it up as we go along. And uh, the material I've managed to get is this. Uh, I've got a sheet of MDF, which is, I think it's, oh look 6 mil MDF I've got a roll of uh, roofing membrane right let's see what we can make out of that firstly I got the very nice man at B&Q to cut this down into uh, pieces other shops are available so I could get it in the car and also cut it to the right width but I've still got to cut it to the right length uh, now he wants it each panel has got to be 20 inches wide by 30 inches high now why it's in inches I have no idea and I'll do that on the table saw Well, that was more of a pain than I thought it would be. Uh, my workshop isn't actually wide enough to cut a piece of wood that big. I need a bigger workshop. Right, I've got my three panels cut. Uh, they are this big. So I think the idea is it's got to stand so it can be opened like that. Okay, so the idea is I'm gonna cover it in this material which is a breathable membrane which is used for roofing uh, now in theory this would give a nice black color they should be able to stick things to this uh, with blue tack or hot glue or chewing gum or spit so this can then be folded up opened up with all things displayed on here so what i need to do now is find somewhere big enough to lay this flat so i can actually cover it in the membrane uh, right where am i going to go Right, so before I go and take over the dining room or the living room, what I'm going to do is a quick experiment. Now, obviously, this needs to be able to fold up like this and then like this. OK, but how far apart do they need to be? So what I'm thinking is I've got a couple of little spaces here, which are just off cuts of wood. They're all the same width, uh, probably about 30 mil. Uh, what I'm going to do is quickly tape it together and give it a try and see if it works. So literally spacers this side, spacers this side. Okay, so what's the point of that? Well, the idea is I'm trying to make some material hinges that will flex enough that it can fold up on top of itself. So with those tapes, let's see if I can actually get it to fold flat. Right, okay. Shut, shut. Magic. Okay, yeah, that folds flat. Does it open? Open, open. Excellent, so that theory works. Right, so what I might do is put a strip down both of these first in the material and then cover the whole thing. Okay, so how far have we got? Right, what I was going to do is I was going to use strips of this and then coat it in this to make long sticky strips. This is a roll of long sticky strip. So I've just used this. This is just black tape. Yeah, you get it in a factory shop or something. Other shops are available. I've made the hinges out of that, so now here is my board so far. I can stand it up, I can open it, and I can open it, and it stands on its own. Okay, so all I've got to do now is cover it. Right, so I've taken over the, uh, the hallway here, um, I've taken the carpet away, I've had to clean up, laid down some paper, because obviously you don't want glue anywhere on the floor. Now my idea is use this stuff, which is spray adhesive. Uh, I'm going to coat one 
side of the board and then lay it on the material and then flatten it out and then spray the others. I'll get on with it and uh, you'll get the idea. So at the moment, I don't want to spray this panel on this side. I just want to spray this. So I'm going to quickly put some paper over this to stop it getting sticky everywhere. Right, so the idea is now, I spray that with adhesive and roll out my second layer. So a very important piece of a device here, uh, always make sure that you've got enough supplies. I run it out of spray adhesive uh, right at the very last minute. Uh, and I also run out of the material, just about enough to cover it. Uh, right, but because I haven't got enough adhesive left now, I've got to change my plans for the edge. Now the idea was I was going to do some fancy foldy thing and then stick it down, but I can't do that now. So what I'm going to have to do is cut it off here and then use the black tape again, this stuff, to edge it. Okay, so let's go on with that. Right, so to cut it, all I'm going to use is Stanley Blade. Uh, you could obviously use a pair of scissors or whatever you have to hand, uh, but I'm going to use a Stanley Blade, and I'm going to cut it dead flush with the edge, uh, and then cover it in the tape. So, being very careful not to kill myself, Right, let me do the other side. <gasps> okay, so what I want to do now is edge the top and the bottom. I'm going to leave the sides because they've got a nice rolled edge on them. Uh, so again, I'm just going to use my tape, which sticks to everything. In theory, I should be able to get this so it looks quite nice. That's the theory. Let's have a go. Try as hard as I might, I think I've got a crease in the bottom, but never mind, let's do the other side. Okay, so I've got the edging strips on now. Uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit of Velcro on the edge so it can be shut up and then sealed to stop it flapping open. Uh, problem is I've only got black eyes and white hooks. Uh, but yeah, it'll have to do, uh, it's just to hold it still. So I'm gonna stick these straight on like this, and this on the other side, on that side. Do a matching bit on this side, try and get them lined up. So in this stuff, you just hook on here, down here, and hold it still. That's how that's going to work. All right, so that's it, we're all done. Uh, Liam can now take this to uh, school so he can present his, uh, his demonstration on Lewis Carroll. But if you wanted to make a trifold board, this was how to do it. Uh, now basically the finished thing is here, looking very swanky. 
Uh, I've got a piece of Velcro on here now, so it can hold it flat. Just literally pull it open, and then it can open. Okay, so what will happen, a quick demonstration. Okay, it will be brought to wherever it's going to be displayed. I'm done. This can be folded out. This can be folded out. And we have a presentation. Okay, so that's it. I've got a bit of a join here, which I don't like. That was supposed to be here, but I did run out of material. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, this will now go to Liam, and I hope you've learned something. You could do this in an evening, and you could use it for craft fairs or presentations or whatever you want to do. All right, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Uh, and I got a roof of uh, a roof of. Um, my grandson has asked me to make me make him make him. Uh, now he's once he's he's what he's he's wants he's wants.